how do you write the answer? Structure is key. It's very important to define your answer. Although now that the breakup is given of the question, the breakup itself of the question makes you write a structured answer most of the time. But sometimes you may get a long type of essay type of question which doesn't have much of a breakup. Then you have to break it up yourself. Okay, so try to, and this is how we read a chapter. We always have a definition, etiology, clinical features, management includes investigations and treatment that to stepwise where possible guideline based and then complications prognosis. So this is how your structure should be, but this is usually how the question also will be broken up. Okay, so you don't have to do too much of an effort, but this is for those questions which don't have a structure, please break it up, write in numbers or bullets or flowcharts or algorithms or tables and diagrams. This is very, very important. I cannot emphasize enough how important structuring your answer is because it makes the examiner's work much, much easier. Imagine an examiner who has to go through a long essay and a uh, same answer is written in a structured way. What will make my mood better? And to be very honest, it's very taxing checking so many papers. One examiner is given one question to check of all the DNB students of all over India. So you have to literally check hundreds of papers. One question we check. One Every examiner is given one question to check. So hundreds of paper, one question. Imagine how my mind would be if the answer is structured versus a long unstructured answer, right? So I would obviously tend to give maybe a little bit more score marks to someone, someone where I can actually easily find the answer in the, 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 the buzzwords in the answer, the keywords in the answer. Add diagram flowcharts if possible. Keep your 10 mark question within 1.5 to 2 pages. Now, this is an estimate, right? Uh, of course, it depends on the handwriting. It depends on how spaced out your, uh, uh, you, you tend to write. Some people write very small. Some people write big. But this is just to give you a guesstimate that try to keep it brief. Don't write lengths and lengths. What's important is not the 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 length of the answer what's important is what how actually how brief or how how somehow good a summary you can make of the entire thing i know there's not much time but maybe you can practice writing a few maybe you have three days every day practice writing three to four questions so you have an idea exam and then you're not thinking how to now form the structure so practice writing a few questions every day